Greetings, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we gather to embark on a journey through the ancient narratives of Baal and Dagon, two deities whose mention in the Bible carries great significance. These stories not only offer us a glimpse into the cultures and beliefs of ancient civilizations, but also hold timeless lessons that resonate with the human condition in our quest for meaning, purpose, and fulfillment. Baal, a prominent god in the ancient Near East, held a position of immense reverence among various cultures, particularly the Canaanites. Known as the god of storms, fertility, and agriculture, Baal was believed to have the power to control the forces of nature and bestow abundant harvests upon his worshippers. The rituals dedicated to Baal involved elaborate ceremonies, sacrifices, and prayers, as people sought his favor to ensure the prosperity and well-being of their communities. One significant event involving Baal unfolds in the pages of the Bible, specifically in the book of 1 Kings. During a time of great spiritual conflict in Israel, the prophet Elijah stood as a faithful servant of the one true God. Elijah's unwavering commitment to his faith led him to confront the prophets of Baal in a contest that would forever test the legitimacy of their deity. On Mount Carmel, a mountain of great spiritual significance, Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal to a duel of supernatural manifestation. The prophets of Baal constructed an altar and fervently called upon their deity, beseeching him to consume their sacrificial offering with fire. They cried out and danced, performing intricate, performing intricate rituals in hopes of provoking a response from Baal. But to their dismay, Baal remained silent and impotent, unable to answer their desperate pleas. In stark contrast, Elijah called upon the name of the one true God, the God of Israel, and issued a simple prayer. In response, the heavens thundered, and a consuming fire descended upon the altar, devouring not only the offering, but also the water-soaked wood and stones surrounding it. The power and authority of the Almighty were vividly displayed, leaving no doubt as to the true source of divine power. This awe-inspiring confrontation between Elijah and the prophets of Baal serves as a powerful reminder to all generations. It teaches us that the pursuit of false gods, no matter how appealing or deeply ingrained in our cultures, leads to futility and disappointment. Baal's inability to manifest his power demonstrates the emptiness of idolatry and the transient nature of earthly authority. Moreover, the narrative of Baal invites us to examine our own lives and the idols we may unknowingly worship. In our modern society, we are often enticed by the allure of material possessions, fame, power, and success. We may find ourselves placing our trust in these transient pursuits, only to discover that they leave us empty, unfulfilled, and spiritually bankrupt. The story of Baal calls us to realign our focus, to seek something greater than the fleeting pleasures of this world. It reminds us that true strength, fulfillment, and purpose are found when we place our trust in the one true God, the creator of heaven and earth. As written in Psalm chapter 73, verses 25 and 26, Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Now, as we shift our attention to the ancient deity Dagon, we find ourselves exploring the worship practices of the Philistines an ancient people inhabiting the eastern Mediterranean coast. Dagon, considered one of the oldest deities in Mesopotamian history, was revered as a chief god by the Philistines. Often depicted as a half-human, half-fish figure, Dagon symbolized his connection to both land and sea. While the details of the Philistine rituals dedicated to Dagon are not extensively described in the biblical accounts, we do encounter significant events involving this deity. One such event is found in the story of Samson, 
a judge chosen by God to deliver the Israelites from the oppression of the Philistines, as recorded in the book of Judges. Samson, a man of immense physical strength and a recipient of divine prophecy, fell in love with a Philistine woman named Delilah. She discovered the secret of his strength, his uncut hair. Delilah betrayed Samson to the Philistines, who captured him and brought him to the temple of Dagon. The Philistines attributed Samson's defeat to Dagon and praised their god for delivering Samson into their hands. They held a great sacrifice and mocked Samson in their ceremonies. However, in a final act of strength granted by God, Samson, guided by the divine purpose of fulfilling the prophecy, toppled the pillars of the temple, causing it to collapse and killing himself along with many Philistines. This dramatic event serves as a powerful demonstration of the futility of worshipping false gods and the ultimate victory of the one true God. It reminds us that no matter how mighty a false deity may be, it is no match for the power and authority of the Almighty. Another significant event involving Dagon is recorded in the book of 1 Samuel. The Philistines captured the Ark of the Covenant, a sacred object representing the presence of God among the Israelites and associated with biblical prophecies, and brought it to the temple of Dagon in Ashdod. Each morning, the Philistines found the statue of Dagon fallen before the Ark of the Lord. In addition, the head and hands of the statue were broken off. This incident revealed the powerlessness of Dagon in the presence of the true God and affirmed the superiority of the God of Israel. These accounts of Baal and Dagon remind us of the inherent dangers of idolatry and the importance of placing our trust in the one true God. In our own lives, we may not worship ancient deities like Baal and Dagon, but we often encounter modern-day idols that captivate our hearts and minds. It could be the pursuit of wealth, fame, success, or even our own self-image. However, just as Baal and Dagon were proven to be powerless and empty, these idols will ultimately disappoint and fail to provide true fulfillment. As the Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 4, We know that an idol is nothing at all in the world, and that there is no God but one. Let us remember that our ultimate fulfillment and purpose are found in a genuine relationship with the one true God, who is loving, merciful, and full of grace. As we reflect on the story of Baal and Dagon, let us be inspired to examine our lives and identify the idols that hinder our growth, rob us of joy, and prevent us from experiencing the abundant life that God intends for us. Let us have the courage to dethrone these false idols and place our trust solely in the one who has the power to transform our lives and lead us into a future filled with hope and purpose. May we seek to know the one true God more intimately, allowing him to guide our steps, shape our character, and fulfill the deepest longings of our hearts. Let us remember the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. In doing so, we will find true satisfaction, lasting joy, and an unshakable foundation for our lives. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on this journey through the narratives of Baal and Dagon. May we carry the lessons learned today as we navigate our own spiritual paths and strive to live lives of purpose authenticity, and devotion to the one true God.